This is a homework help video for section 7.2, problem 15. The problem reads that the number of chocolate chips in an 18 ounce bag of chocolate chip cookies is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 1,252 chips and standard deviation 129 chips. Part A asks, what is the probability that a randomly selected bag contains between 1,000 and 1,400 chocolate chips inclusive? So the key point in this problem is that the distribution is normally distributed. So that tells me that to find probabilities, I can actually go to the normal calculator in StatCrunch. So I'll go to Stat Calculators Normal. I need to put in the mean that I'm given, so 1,252, and the standard deviation that I'm given, 129. And now part A says between 1,000 and 1,400. So over in my normal calculator, I click on between, put in my lower bound, 1,000, and my upper bound, 1,400. The probability always comes out um, to the right of the equal sign in the normal calculator. So this number 0.8489, and that will have to round to 0 0.8490 since the digit after that um, 9 is 5 or greater, uh, is going to be my probability. So I will have 0.8490. Okay, great. Now part B says the probability that a randomly selected bag contains fewer than 1100 chocolate chips is. Now with fewer than, I can actually use a less than or equal to because I have a continuous distribution. A normal distribution is always continuous. And so you'll get the same probability using a less than which is actually what fewer than means, or a less than or equal to. So I'm going to select X is less than or equal to 1100. And the 0.1193 is my probability. So I'll put that in 0.1193. Great. Part C is done almost the same way except we are asked for the pro proportion of bags that contain more than. Now more than means strictly greater than, but began, be, again, because we have a continuous probability, strictly greater than is the same as greater than or equal to. That will give us the same probability. So I'll do X is greater than or equal to 1175 and I get the probability 0.7247. Great, and now I believe this last part is the part that um, the question was actually about that the student asked me. So part D says a bag that contains 1050 chocolate chips is in what percentile? So a percentile, anytime you have a percentile problem, if you think back to unit one, percentile means the percentage that is less than or equal to our number. So I'm going to stay in my normal calculator and go X is less than or equal to 1050. And again, percentile will always translate to less than or equal to and I compute to get the probability. So the probability for this area that's shaded here is 0 0.0587. Now, what we want for a percentile is we want a percent, not a probability. So we can always translate between a probability and a percent by multiplying the probability by 100. So I'm going to take 0 0.0587 and multiply it by 100, and I get 
when I do that. Now, the problem says round to the nearest integer, integer meaning whole number, and 5.87 rounds to 6. So I'm going to say that the bag is in the 6th percentile. So key takeaway points on that one are the percentile always means less than or equal to. And when you round, um, make sure you multiply by 100 before rounding.